Our uh, first guest tonight and her uh, husband have decided to release a song together to celebrate this uh, Valentine's Day. His name is Blake Shelton. Their album or their song is called Purple Irises. Please welcome Gwen Stefani. <laughs> Great. This is a, a fantastic outfit Thank you, you have here. Is it, is it correct to say this is like a 70s inspired type of I thing? I would say. I would say it's inspired by the song a little bit. Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. This, this is really unexpected to be here, actually. Is it? Yeah. Why? And the song coming out right now, too. We weren't, it was just, it all just happened like a miracle. Is, is this like your, was this, I'm flattered that you guys decided to spend Valentine's Day with me. I mean, uh, my wife doesn't even want to spend Valentine's <laughs> Day with me, but. Um, is it was is this like the plan for the night or is there are you guys do you have a thing afterwards? We have uh, the boys at home. Okay. Waiting. Um, I have some water boiling. We're gonna have some raviolis. The ravioli. Yeah, it's it's Lent, so we're oh, gonna be right. yeah we're fasting. Are you fasting for Lent? Well, I mean from meat, right? You know ravioli's not fasting, right? <laughs> <laughs> About that, I was like, okay, we're gonna have pizza. That's like my favorite food. Yeah, like, right. why? It's a How little come bit I always scam. think of pizza when I see you every I... single time. <laughs> like, by the way, you're not alone. By the way, <laughs> I smell like oregano. I think that's what it is. So, okay, this is great because I know you're from an Italian family. Yep. On yes, on but I for us it was only on Fridays that we didn't eat meat. Oh, I thought or... it was only Fridays you had pizza because we had. We had pizza every Friday night. We would also older. do that too. And okay. then it was like some big sacrifice to have fish on Fridays. <laughs> and like our whole neighborhood in Brooklyn smelled like fish. Oh my Friday. gosh, we messed up. I think we just got the days wrong because we had fish last night. And I was like, Blake, can you just like open the windows? Because our house was like, <laughs> what? Like, so yeah. Is it's... this the family tradition raviolis or it just happens to be? This was yeah. like, oh my God, mom's working. So <laughs> there's no, Blake hasn't planned anything romantic, like a trip to the Bass Pro Shop for you guys or anything <laughs> like that. I, I gotta be honest, like we, uh, I got my Valentine's present um, early this year, so. Oh, is that your? Oh. <laughs> it, it looks like you got a few Valentine's presents. <laughs> Yeah. Does he pick that out, or does he? Do you have like some friend that helps? He really like mixed it up. Usually, I get like amazing flowers, which I love, love, love. But uh -huh. this was just a. Here you go. I was like, what? Yeah, he did the whole thing. All right. Well, I love good. you, Mikey. He did a good job. <laughs> he did. And you, I don't know if you remember this, but a few years ago, you were trying to figure out something to get for Blake for his Always, birthday. Yep. And I gave you a little idea, which I think was a, it a was, hit. It's lasted, yeah. I mean, it's actually the flamethrower that you gave us yes, was, yes. Um, <laughs> the flame thrower. was very popular and um, got a lot of use out of it. And he actually was in, so inspired this Christmas, he got both his brother-in-laws, uh, they were like barbecue flame throwers. Oh, like, they got yeah. Oh, have you he's... seen those ones? He just. I have seen that. Yeah, yeah, he's paying it forward. Yes. Nothing, nothing keeps a relationship hot like a flamethrower. <laughs> True. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad that. And so, um, you know, your kids. Well, your youngest is about the same age as my daughter, about nine years old. He's turning ten. We're actually having a big disco party for him this weekend, so oh. really excited about that. Is that still in the age where they get a box of Valentine's cards and write one to every kid in the class? They do, and they have like, I mean, for me, I remember doing that and having like a lot of like dyslexic anxiety about like trying to write the whole thing out. I'm like, oh, how do you spell it? Um, but yeah, they still do that. And I, do you like those heart candies? I never liked no. those. Um, no, I mean, when, when you're a kid, any candy is like, is exciting to get, but those cards, I just remember them being just like, like a weird, like Spider-Man with like a, you know, like there's know. nothing like romantic and about them. I just remember trying to like fit the candy inside and then licking it and like giving it to them. Like, here you go, like, you know? I think the fun part now though, when you have kids is going and just picking, letting them pick them out, you know, like that's, it's exciting. Your oldest honest. son is like, is, is, like pl is playing music he now, is. right? He is. You would be freaked out. This really? kid is such a good songwriter. It's and out of nowhere, we were like, 
you're lying. You didn't write that. Has like, he performed in public yet? Has he done this? He, um, he has because we were on vacation, and Blake has, like, this bar in Tishomingo, Oklahoma. Right. I don't know if you know where that is. Very, well, we <laughs> Nobody know, does. We know it because of Blake. Yeah, so yeah. We, we actually, we were, like, we were on like a summer vacation and we were like, Blake's idea, he was like, you should just like learn a couple of your songs. You can hop up there. I'm gonna tweet and say that I'm gonna be there tonight and you can just come on after me. And so he did it. So it was really exciting. And it's weird because even last night he was playing for us. I was like, wow, like it's, it's mind blowing because you don't think like, you don't know what your kids are gonna do. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they find themselves and you're like, wow. Did Blake pay him? Did he get, um, <laughs> was he paid for his uh, parents? Um, no. Oh, he did not get paid. Whoa, he okay. Was, he was, well, but it was a tough gig. I mean, this was like local tissue. I know, that's why he should have been paid. I'm going to have to start <laughs> managing the boy. <laughs> he needs one. You want you, to manage um, him. You know, I, we talk about this from time to time, but the first time I saw you play with No Doubt was 1995, probably, here in, in Orange County, not far away from here. Uh, it was a radio station I worked at, K Rock. Yes. You were a part of this this big show, and you guys were going to be reuniting at Coachella. Yes. It's crazy. How long has it been? How long has it been? Yeah, um, since you played with the guys. Nine years. The Tony and Adrian. Ten years. Nine years. Nine years. Ah, ten years. that's so weird. I know it's going to be amazing. Are you excited about I'm this? I'm so excited, and I think what is gonna be hilarious is I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get on stage and look around and just start like cracking up because it's just gonna be like riding a bike. We're gonna be like, what are we doing? We're in the future right now. We're at Coachella. Like, it's gonna be bizarre. Will and you climb, I remember you climbing the um, the up, uh, uh, the trellis like uh, to a dangerous height actually back then. Will I you still do them, that kind I, of stuff? They don't have trellises. I already asked about it. That's I was probably like, do they for have, the best. I was like, do they have trellises? Were you planning to climb up I was. The... I would do it. Like I would start doing my squats like today and get ready for it, you know? Are you guys <laughs> rehearsing? We haven't started yet. We just you have think been you like. Do you remember all the songs? I don't remember them, no, not at all. <laughs> I don't. No, I think I'm gonna have to learn probably like eight or nine that, you know, saw, like one of the first songs I ever wrote was called Different People Were Doing That. Oh, I'm not gonna... <laughs> We might do that one. <laughs> All right, well, you may, you're going to have to go over the lyrics before. Maybe it'll be like more of a karaoke thing than anything yeah, for you. I'm just, yeah, I'll just have to have them sing it for us. So we'll see. We're going to take a break. Uh, Gwen Stefani is with us. Later Hi. on, she and Blake will be playing uh, this song, Purple Irises. We'll be right back. We are back with Gwen Stefani. This is her new single, a duet with Blake Shelton called Purple Irises. And the, the album, this cover is fantastic. I think my parents had this couch. <laughs> Is this you guys for real, or are your heads glued onto these bodies? <laughs> Those are real. That's really us. That's a real photograph. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. It looks like a real record. It does. It is a real record. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like when Instagram started and you put those filters on. You know, <laughs> yeah. It had that thing. People don't really do duets so much anymore. I know. Do they? I, well, Blake and I have done a few of them together, yeah. and I've hopped on a couple of his songs, which was just like when he's asking me to do that, I'm like. Yeah, it's like crying, oh, you, you know? Yes, oh my gosh, anything with him. But would you be mad if he sing. asked somebody else to sing a duet yes. with him? Yeah, you would. Yes. When you have a song like this one, you how do you play it for him? Do you play a recording or do you play it live? Well, what's interesting, I've been writing music since 2020. Like, I basically wanted to put music out and I got really jealous because Kelly Clarkson actually texted me during quarantine and I'm like sitting there, you know, cleaning toilets, doing the dinner, like all this homeschool. Mm -hmm. And she's sending me all these songs she's writing. I'm like, wait a minute, like when? Like, how are you doing this? You know what I mean? Like when, so that got me like thinking, I wanna make music. And I kind of went down this whole road. And then when I wrote Purple Irises, like fast forward years later, I, I was like, this is it. This is where I landed. This is me now. Like, I'm so excited about this song. And I played it for Blake. I just played him, you know, you go in, you make the song and you kind of get a demo, you come out played it for him, and he loved it. And he kept kind of being like, don't put that out like that. Like, don't put it out yet. Like, I'm like, what do you, like, because it wasn't a duet. It was just going to be my song. You adapted it. Yeah, it. and then I was like, wait, do you want to hop on this? Like, I would never ask him because everybody wants Blake to be on their song. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You guys are married, though, you know? I know, but, <laughs> but especially, I don't want him to think I'm using him. You know what I mean? Like, trying to ride on his coat, like, coattails. So you but, wait for him to make that He kind of made this, like, kind of a little hint, 
maybe he, I don't know if he agrees, but then I was like, I'll rewrite it, whatever. And it ended up, I didn't have to rewrite anything. We just, it just worked. And one afternoon, I was listening to all the music with this uh, producer guy that I'm working with. And he, I said, Blake might want to hop in this. And he's like, text him now. And literally 20 minutes later, he came over and sang on the demo. And and then we got to go record the song with like a live band. And um, one of my favorite producers, Scott Hendricks, who is a country producer that works with Blake, but he was never available to work with me. But then like four days after his retirement, he recorded this song. And it was just a magical like- He had a four day retirement? He had four day <laughs> retirement. And we got to like fly to Nashville. I was on The Voice and everything lined up. Like the guys that were in the band were like, oh, I just came in from the Heart Tour last night at 5.30 AM. And the street that we recorded on was called Iris Street. So I was like, what is happening? Yeah. Well, and now here we are playing it live. Kismet. You know, I thought it would be nice <laughs> If, because you know, at this time, on uh, uh, at this time, there are a lot of men on their way home from work or whatever who need to get a last-minute Valentine's Day gift, and we've got a souvenir shop right next door called the Hollywood Land Souvenir Shop, and uh, where some guys, uh, we're hoping maybe we can help a customer um, if we can find somebody what? who's looking. What is happening? Uh, hello, sir. Uh, uh, hi there, are you looking for something for your uh, special lady? Is that you, Jimmy? Yeah, it's me. Hey, yeah. buddy, how's it going? <laughs> Good, how, how you doing? I'm here uh, I'm here with Gwen right now. Oh, is she there? Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was actually doing some, I came out here to watch those people uh, playing that glory hole game that you had. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then I saw... Uh, did you meet, did you get to meet Dick and Debbie? <laughs> I didn't want to shake anybody's hand. <laughs> uh, I saw a Hollywood land over here, and I was like, oh, my God, I still need, it's actual Valentine's Day, and I yeah. can get Gwen something while I'm down here. Can she see this stuff? No, no, she can't see it <laughs> at all. Don't worry. What'd you get her? Tell me, well, tell me what you think. I, just some fun stuff. I, I thought this was funny. Uh, California was so expensive, I could only afford half a cup. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I think that's, that's good, yeah, I like I that. Tell. I can tell that that's popular with the locals there. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got in that basket? I, I found, uh, I just thought, I was thinking of Gwen's outfit tonight and, and something about this Bob Ross uh, set of, <laughs> of uh, playing cards. It's kind of a vintage. Oh, you know, yes, for thing. sure, yeah. Yeah, she's going to uh, love I saw, that. I saw this, too. I, I, I got this for Gwen. <laughs> I, I figured I could just, uh, you know, change that to a W. Yeah, then, yeah. They, and Sometimes then, don't have all of the names. And then yeah. I would change this to an N. Uh huh. And then, it, and then it would say Gwen. And then it would say Gwen. <laughs> and then I had actually would have made something for it. <laughs> There's all kinds so of cool thoughtful. stuff in here, dude. Man, yeah. I, got, I, I thought this would be cool. Uh, it's the uh, uh, world's greatest music. I actually got this for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Well, you can share it, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's for, we live in the same house. It'll go on the mantle. <laughs> so. I didn't know you were such a good shopper, Blake. I, mean, I had I, no idea. I, I'm really good. And, and if you're desperate enough, I can keep going through all this. No, no, no. I think we got it. I think we got it. Are you sure? It's, yes. To, to happy Valentine's Day. Are you going to come in and sing, or is Gwen going to have to do this by herself? Yes. Uh, if you guys have time, I mean, we I'm do. just over we... here. I'm, I'm going to check out, and then I'll come. We will make time. <laughs> Lake Shelton next door. This is the new single with Gwen. It's called Purple Irises. Uh, you guys are going to sing that a little bit later. Gwen Stefani, we'll be right back with Fortune Feedster. Ta-da.